My hometown is Crofton, Kentucky, here in, in Christian County, which is the uh, kind of the northern part of the county, if you will. And we can remember, as far as I can remember growing up, celebrating the 8th of August. It was a big homecoming celebration and the one time of the year where you didn't have a, a curfew. And you've seen you know, thousands of people, you've seen license plates from all over the nation, from Indianapolis to Detroit to Florida, here at a little small park in a little country town called Crofton. Population 900 ever since I could remember. My auntie died about six, six or seven years ago. Uh, when, she, when she died, she was 107. Mm. And she said that when she w w was growing up, 8th of August in Crofton was already up and going. What we're doing today is an African-American historic site tour and the different sites and locations on that tour and people that are highlighted during that tour were involved in African-American uh, history. They were involved during the 8th of August or they came out of slavery uh, actually and started a business here in, in Hopkinsville. Uh, so a lot of those locations and sites that we are visiting are from post-slaves uh, and those that were part of the Reconstruction era uh, after the Civil War. The guy, as I said, that invented the belt vest suspender back in 1932. The building we're coming up on now, everyone is pretty much familiar with, I, I assume. It's the attic school, and the pictures of the old attics are being passed around, or the attics, that's not the old attics, that's the new one. It was not uncommon for people on Saturday night to be leaving the nightclub or the juke joint early on a Sunday morning and passing and uh, brushing shoulders with those headed to church on Sunday morning. Right there in the same neighborhood and sometimes right next door. <laughs> Garland Brooks was well known in the pharmacy world just as his brother Dr. Philip was in the medical profession. And yes, this old historian does remember when this building was built. You see the dates sewn up on the front. So we go back to at least that far, and one or two others on this wagon go back along the way with us. <laughs> I don't emphasize that too stoutly. But anyway, uh, this was a real important neighborhood for African American shopping and socializing yeah. uh, in the 1940s, 50s, and 60s. And uh, sad to say that. Uh, those businesses were successful and created through segregation. And unfortunately, integration created some wonderful things. Integration also caused some real uh, declines here and there. Mm -hmm.